Core compression, seated pike, leg lifts. If you want to increase your core compression strength, check this out. You'll need to have a certain level of pike flexibility and core compression strength before performing seated leg lifts. Let me explain. Start by sitting on the floor with the legs straight and a slight anterior pelvic tilt, APT. Notice that I shuffle my hips back and lean the shoulders forward. As I do this, I aim to pull the upper leg bones into the back of the hip capsule. I then stretch my hamstrings before starting the leg lifts as this helps to increase the core compression. From here, contract the quads and pull your knees up to lock the knees and keep the legs straight for the entire set. Next, place the hands flat on the floor beside the legs. The further forward you place the hands, the more challenging the exercise will be. Actively push your hands into the floor to lock the upper body in place and to activate the abdominals. Notice that the shoulders are protracted and the upper back is rounded. It can be helpful to twist your hands into the floor towards your pinky fingers, as this externally rotates the shoulders and locks the elbows, allowing you to push into the floor with more force. From here, keep the legs straight and lift them off the floor by contracting the deep flexor muscles. You need to have the flexibility and strength to lift the legs off the floor without leaning the torso back. If you cannot do this, work on supine and standing core compression exercises and continue with your pike flexibility. If you can keep your hands flat on the floor and maintain the forward leaning angle of the torso while lifting the legs, you're doing it right. The height of the leg lift isn't important. The goal is to close the angle between the torso and the thighs. The position of the hands, the angle of the torso lean, and the height of the leg lift are all factors to consider here. Seated pike leg lifts can be performed for repetitions, isometric holds, or a combination of the two. Performing 10 reps with a 10 second hold is a good starting place for most people. Give it a try and see how you go. If you've got questions, please leave them in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.